Hey, today I'm going to go over the divine proportion, also called the golden ratio, in Adobe Illustrator and how to apply it in that. Um, I have a tutorial in the works for Creative Pro, and if it's not published there, I'll just publish it on my website, photoshoptutorialsandtips.com, um, that I have a couple images from. But this one, that, that one's on Photoshop. This one's actually on Adobe Illustrator. And I'm just going to talk about how to use utilize this uh, equation and this proportion that can be seen in space and nature, um, in art, Renaissance art, um, Impressionist art, and architecture as well from the ancient Egyptians and the Greeks, the Parthenon, um, and more recently as well. Uh, what the divine proportion is, is if you look over here, basically this is the equation. It seems kind of confusing, I know, but, but pretty much um, this one section of a line is to this section, so B is to A, as this section right here, A, is to A and B. So this is related to uh, Fibonacci sequence where it's 1 and 1 equals 2, and then 2 and 1 equals 3, and 3 and 2 equals 5, okay, and then so on, and it goes up to 8, and then, you know, 13, and it just keeps, um, you know, increasing, and that's related to the golden ratio or the divine proportion um, in that it can create this spiral effect, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, instead of kind of figuring out this uh, equation here, which is how you figure it out, if you, if you enter that into a calculator, you'll come up with a repeating number. It's much longer than this, uh, but this is just a number that you can go by to just approximate the effect that we'll use, a pretty easy effect. I'll show you. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci, Renaissance painter, uh, painter he used the uh, golden ratio, divine proportion in some of his art. As you can see here, the Mona Lisa's face is divided in that sequence that you could see. Um, in the moth, moth's wings, uh, the dorsal, the fins on a dolphin, um, even calculating how much rabbits will multiply, um, they've scientists have actually used um, the golden ratio um, or the divine proportion. This is another one and you can see actually the spiral basically this is to that is to that is to that is to that so the squares keep getting larger and it creates the spiral here that you can see in nature as well. The Greeks created the Parthenon you can see it here the spiral going out like that and if the roof was still there it would match up perfectly and I created a couple examples from Photoshop um, with this equation that I'll show you how to do in Illustrator and it's uh, not a third even though rule of thirds we do use in photography it's not half either it's somewhere between half and a third and it's just aesthetically pleasing to the eye what you want to do is go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator and s select the rectangle tool and then just click. Instead of clicking and dragging, just click somewhere and create a r perfect, uh, or you can just click and drag and hold shift, but I'm just going to click and let go. So I'll just do 300 points for each side, just as long as these are the same, because we want a perfect square. Okay. So I made a perfect square, and uh, I'm going to change the color here, maybe just some... Uh, maybe uh, some kind of blue. Um, then, just remember what number you put in. That was 300. What you want to do is multiply 300 times 1.618. Okay, so you would click in there, and it ends up being, if I just go to calculator here, 300 times 1.618. Of course, the actual number is much longer, but this is just for this. Now I'm just going to do 485. I'll just round up, or round down, actually. Um, so 485. And then we have the other one here. And I'll change the color of this one. Uh, maybe we'll go to Color Guide and choose a say complementary color and then just bring it so it matches up directly with this 
other shape, this original shape. And it should kind of lock in there, it'll let you know. Okay. Then do control left bracket on the Mac, command left bracket, or you can go to object arrange, uh, send backward. And then we have a proportion, okay, right here in Adobe Illustrator with shapes. And you can also go to file place and place in photos in here as well. And now you could add uh, some text in here. So the text replaces that or is just part of it, maybe white text or black text on top of there, maybe a photo over here, or maybe just shapes as well. But that's uh, one way to figure out the divine proportion in Adobe Illustrator. I'll also provide this Illustrator document on the website photoshoptutorialsandtips.com that I'll link to it. And you can download it and see, this is also the spiral that you see, it's okay, one, and then um, two sides, three sides, five sides, eight sides, because it's one plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus five is eight, and it would just keep getting larger and larger. But this is that proportion as well. And you could even put an element here, here and here, you know, and just uh, experiment with different looks trying to use this uh, proportion. Something that can be seen in nature, in uh, Renaissance art, and in architecture as well. Thank you.